Hi, I'm Peter Edwards from Blue Tutors. Um, we teach children of all ages, um, right from primary school to degree level, and we find the highest quality tutors. Um, and today, I'm going to teach you some maths. We're now going to look at how to convert a decimal number into a hexadecimal number. Um, so, um, the first thing to do is just briefly go over what a hexadecimal number, what its digits mean. Um, so we're only going to look at three digit hexadecimal numbers um, at the moment. Um, so the first digit represents units, 16 to the power zero, which is one that represents units. The second digit represents 16s. And the third digit represents 16 to the power of two, which is 256. Um, so the important thing to do when you're working out how to convert a decimal number into a hexadecimal number is to start off by working out how many digits that hexadecimal number is going to have. The first example we're going to use is 74. Um, and the first thing we have to do is decide what we're going to um, do in terms of how many digits this hexadecimal number is going to have. Now since 256 is less than 74, we know that there are only going to be two digits. So we now want to see what we're going to put in this first column um, for the 16 to the power of one. To do that, we divide 74 by 16, and the result of that is four. Four times 16 is 64, and so the remainder that we have from that is 10. Um, now, 10 is obviously a single digit in hexadecimal, simply represented by A. Therefore, this tells us that 74, when written as a hexadecimal number, is 4A. Okay. So now we're going to move on to a slightly more complicated example and we're going to try and represent 680 as a hexadecimal number. Um, now you'll notice that 680 is greater than 256, so we're going to have three digits in our hexadecimal number. What we're going to do first is divide 280 by, sorry, we're going to divide 680 by 256 and the result of that is 2. Uh, 2 times 256 is 512, and so our remainder is 168, which we're going to put down here. So, next we now go back to what we did in the first example, and we're going to divide 168 by 16. Um, the result of this is 10. Um, 10 times 16 is 116, and so we're left with a remainder of 8. Um, and so we're going to put eight here. So now we have the three digits in our hexadecimal number. You'll notice again we have 10, which is represented by A. So this tells us that 680, when written as a hexadecimal number, is 2A8. And that is how to convert a decimal number into a hexadecimal number. 